Steve, thanks for joining us again today. How are you progressing with Hazen Labs on the verification and production of larger lithium carbonate samples? And are you on track to report these samples in the next few weeks? Lake will be providing an update uh, probably next week about uh, the timeline, but we're progressing well. We're in the purification stage at the moment, and uh, we've just got to make certain that um, there aren't any hiccups before we come and announce that. But things are going very well at the moment. We're also very confident that the high quality results will be released uh, because the lithium chloride from the pilot plant that they're processing is the same, if not better, than what we saw at lab scale. Um, and I have to say that just getting this placement underwritten and done means that we've got a clear runway for future news as, uh, as that comes out over the coming weeks. So can you tell us what sort of parties are assessing Lake and Lilac's pilot program? The key is to get battery quality samples out to the participants in the supply chain and then to start the qualification process of our product. That's what we're trying to do. We hope to say something about uh, at least one of these testing processes quite soon. Like everybody, we're aiming for names um, in, the, uh, in that supply chain. And the good thing for us is that there is actually limited battery quality product available. So uh, this product is actually sought after for its quality and also for its ESG uh, benefits. But the thing is, each product is different. Uh, from a supplier, and each specifications of each um, cathode, electrolyte, and and um, cell or pack manufacturer are different. So it, it's um, it's not a process that happens straight away. I would have to say there's probably still some complacency in the market and in the supply chain that all the lithium will be available that uh, that is wanted, and it's quite interesting with the amount of battery plants that are being built, uh, the incentives in the UK EU that that's not going to be met. Our live end CEO said uh, just a, a couple of weeks ago that uh, there's no expansions to the majors. And uh, if the EVs came to, their, to the market now, they, they wouldn't have that product. So I think we're well positioned with having a high quality product that can then get, um, get that qualified fairly soon. So Steve, now you have this capital locked away, what are the immediate value drivers for you? So first one, get those battery quality samples out because that then shows uh, to all and sundry that the pilot plant and the, lithium, the lilac process works well with catchy brines. Second one is then the testing and the qualification of those samples. That process takes many months, but getting it into that supply chain so that we can demonstrate uh, not just battery quality, but that it works in batteries uh, together with its ESG benefits. Third thing is we actually trigger the, the definitive feasibility study. And uh, there's some other news sort of in the, in the market as well, which I think will assist us. Uh, one is that all of the lithium producers have gone up between 30 and, uh, and a couple of hundred percent in the last six to 10 weeks. Have a look at Lithium Americas. They've gone from $3 to $9 a share over the last three months. And they're right next to us in, uh, in, in one of our other projects. Next will be a small group of developers like us, which have got an edge quality or an ESG benefit. And also watch out for, um, for Tesla's battery day that's coming up on the 22nd of September. That might actually be a wake up moment where not only do they talk about the million mile battery, but, um, but also about the supply chain and how they're tying up a lot of supply. So um, we've got some news that's specific for us and there's also some things that happening in the sector, which will also give us quite a, uh, a lift. Now that we've got this place in the way, I think we're going to have a clear runway for, for news flow. So looking forward to it. Thanks, Steve. Really appreciate you taking the time to give us the update today. Um, all the best and we'll chat soon. Okay. Well, look, as a, as a closing comment, I would probably say this key thing. Lake Resources is about producing high quality lithium using clean technology where we produce true battery quality products, uh, lithium products, consistently and responsibly sourced. This pilot plant has now been de-risked. And personally, I actually don't think new technology is necessary to risk now. It's actually traditional methods based on what we're seeing with some of the producers now and how they're being crimped. Uh, we just need to get our 
products qualified once it's out. And I think this, uh, this story will become quite well known in the industry and uh, clearly differentiated on quality in ESG. Thanks, Dave. All the best. Thank you.